hi friends welcome back in this video tutorial I am tell about the Wireshark IO graphs uh, basically Wireshark IO graphs is the what is in this what is the uh, basically wire graph is the what is the data goes from in network and what is the data goes from out to outside from network this is the basically tell about this Wireshark IO graph so in the Wireshark IO graph if you can check the statistics menu and here is the IO graph panel you can open this and here is a lot of things here is the left side in the graph you can activate multiple graph and deactivate multiple graph in the first gram if I am uh, enter some filter here is a no ARP, ARP, TCP only and click on apply then it close the, it is show only the TCP traffic within this mint if you click on view on time of day and it is show the day time of your real time system and current day time system which when your file is captured so I am firstly first filter apply the HTTP and second filter apply ARP and click on graph 2 also you can comparise the traffic between how much your art traffic how much your HTTP traffic and you can also apply third and fourth filter this is basically four filter five filter you can choose here and apply different filter you can also apply here the DNS traffic and you can also check the UTP port traffic from here and graph 3 and graph 4 activate and you can check the how many you have the UDP traffics uh, DNS traffics uh, you can also check from here F bar to line impulses and dots you can check many more you can also save this graph to in your excel file by hitting copy and if you open the voice uh, excel and there is no MS Word will be installed. Uh, open the Microsoft Excel and you click and hit paste version. So it will automatically copy your all data from the Wireshark and copy and paste into your excel file and from here you can also draw the graph this is the not topic for this how to draw graph using what excel data so basically i'm telling about you can copy the data from and, and represent the report of your network data so i am changing back to line and you can also change the tick interval one second 0 0.01 second and one second basically tell one second and pixel per tick you can also change from here and it is more if you have small less traffic and you can change from here and a better view of graph and you can also use y axis unit bytes per tick you have how much bytes of your network bits per ticks in your network is a 25,000 bits in your network transfer and you can also click on advance and some apply some calculation and average thing you can also choose the scale of your uh, y axis bar and you can check many more from here basically click on auto and you can also apply the some filter or average so this is the all about my video friends thank you guys for watching